Okay, before this video starts, I just want to say, do you realize my eyelash is falling off the whole damn time? Do I fix it? No. Comfort over looks. And it wouldn't be on bad if it was on right, so. Enjoy. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. You already know what it is. So, today we're going to have a little bit of a discussion. You know, a little bit of a talk, a little bit of a chat. Um, something more serious because this just went down like two days ago. Well, like it went down on New Year's, like the actual incident, but people are like, it's coming to light now. So I just heard about this guy. His name is K K Sinet. K Sinet, I think. Never heard of him before this incident. And a lot of people are hearing about him now because of this incident that didn't know him before. So He's a coming up Twitch streamer, if you didn't know. I don't really know, like, I don't follow Twitch people that much. Like, you know, I know about them, but I don't really follow, keep up with the gaming. Like, I'm not a gamer. Sorry. Okay, so he's, like, a coming up Twitcher or whatever. He's 21 years old. So, basically what happened is he threw this party on New Year's. And this is all allegedly, okay? Right now, it's, it's allegedly because there hasn't been, like, a court case on it yet. We don't know. She's probably going to file. But anyway... So on New Year's, he invited her, like, to come to this party. He's like, hey, pull up, I'm having this party. She's like, okay, you know, they're kind of friends or whatever. I don't know, I don't know if they were friends before that or not, like, uh, he invited her somehow, right? So maybe they just kind of met recently. I think they just met recently. Anyway, irrelevant whether they knew each other for a long time or not. So she ended up getting really drunk at the party. She wanted to go home. And she was like, okay, I'm going to go home. And he was like, no, like, you shouldn't go home. Um, you'll be safer here. You can stay upstairs in the room. So, you know, she's like, okay, because she's really drunk. She went upstairs in the bed into the room. Basically, what happens when she was sleeping, she was really drunk, really intoxicated. She's sleeping. She basically woke up and this guy was, like, on, like, basically, you know, R-wording her. So... She's like, what the fuck, like, you know, get off me type thing. She did all these tweets about it. And, you know, I would take a moment to read through that if you want to hear it exactly word for word, uh, how she typed it out on Twitter. And she was like, why did you do that? And he was like, basically, oh, this is my room. Like, you were in my bed. You know, that's why, that's why he justified him doing that. Like, that's the reason that he was doing it. He's like, he he was like you're in my bed and this and that like you know can we just like forget about it and like you know leave it alone and then she was like did you use protection and he's like yeah and then he showed her the condom allegedly this is all she said in the tweet it was like use and then she had to go get like tested for stds because condoms don't protect against stds they just protect against you know getting pregnant ish like not even 100 percent so so right away, like, she felt so violated, you know, rightfully so, because what the fuck. So she went to the hospital, got her R-word kit, and all that. Like, she did all the right things, you know. Like, she went right away, you know. If it's serious enough, like, just, you know, go right away. Even though if even if it's painful and hard to do, like, if you're going to do charges or, like, go a step further, you have to do it right away or else, like, you know. It's hard to say, but, like, time does make a difference. Because, you know, then you can prove things. Like, you can prove this and that, whatever. Anyway, she was like, what the fuck? Like, she thought that he, like, Kai sent a guy in because he did say, like, he sent a guy in to check on her. So, she thought it might have been that guy. But it wasn't that guy. He clarified that after. Like, I, I didn't send, you know, that guy, guy in. Anyway, so, she, the next day, is, like, messaging Kai. And was like, yo, this guy, like, R-worded me. He did this to me you know, like, what the hell, like, you know, she was, like, kind of, you know, upset about it, and then she was, like, but not towards Kai, like, she really w didn't have anything, like, towards, you know, Kai, like, she might have thought, like, maybe he sent the guy in, like, she doesn't know, right, but she was, like, I need to know who this guy is, like, you know, because she wants to, like, do legal action on him, she's, like, he needs to, like, you know, learn, like, you can't do that, so, She's, like, trying to get information, like, who is this guy? And Kai's, like, kind of playing it off, like, he doesn't know who it is. He's, like, okay, I'm looking into it. Like, you know, I didn't know a lot of people at the party, this and that. But, you know, she's sending him pictures of the guy, and he's, like, you know, I don't know who that is, this and that, like, you know, blah, 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 like, not helping her at all. 
and then she goes snooping on his Instagram and eventually finds the guy with him and he's like at first he was like it's not my friend it's not my friend and then she sees him on the Instagram and he's also following him and this dude is apparently only following like a hundred and some people like not a lot of people and he's following that person so like you're not gonna like follow just like if you're only following like a hundred or something people like you usually know who they are they're not just a random person that showed up at your party like you, you know them so that is the big drama is that like you know Kai's not the one that did it but people are upset with him because it's like you know he basically like p first put her in that kind of position and you know that's not his fault like that's not his fault that you know he just so happened to put like her in the bed and like that guy came in right that's not his fault but people are upset after the fact that he's not trying to help her and then she later discovered like yo you're friends with him like he's in this instagram pic so she sends him the instagram pic is like you know him like what are you you know kind of getting mad now at this point because like what the heck you're, you're trying to protect this like r word is you know rightfully so like that would be so frustrating after that traumatic event too so you know he's like what the fuck like i didn't um i didn't you know know about it this and that like i'll put all this stuff here but like you know now he's like okay yeah i did know him this and that like he, he's like scared you know what i mean up and coming like twitch stream or whatever you, like you don't want your career to be like ruined from this like terrible thing that happened but it's like come on you could have helped her out like you know obviously that's his friends so i guess like guys don't want to you know, like bro code and all that you don't want to like turn your back on your friend and all that but if they do some gross slimy shit like that and you defend them like you're almost as bad as them like i don't know so that's why people are coming for him on twitter and like different platforms because like you handle it so bad like you know what i mean but he went to his legal team i guess a lot of people to be talking about it and uh kai actually responded three hours ago which we'll get into on watch that as well here you can see uh somebody said kai follows 122 people and he's one of them so there's no way they're not close again here it shows uh everyone asking me i didn't i so she shows proof that she did a r word kit she said, i'm not trying to place blame on anyone other than the perpetrator however i told my story as it happened i didn't want to leave any parts out i don't believe kai is to blame however he was involved whether you agree or not it's just a fact he's the only person i knew at this party and he's the one who told me to go upstairs where everything occurred i don't need kai for attention as i get enough of it on my own and this wouldn't be the way i would want to try to get it i wish him the best but i will not be silenced i will not choose to exclude him out of my story for his protection i'm choosing to protect myself this time and say what happened exactly as it did now here she runs through a video of all the messages and stuff and let's see here he says did what did you find out he said you good not really i want to know who it was can you send me the instagram of the guy who checked on me please three hours passed and he didn't respond she said question question she said this shit is serious i'm trying to be annoying or anything but i'm legit traumatized i don't care if it's one of your friends and you don't want to throw him under the bus doesn't matter to me he did what he did and he has to pay for it kai said hell no not one of my friends i'm still looking into it so that was a huge lie that he told there obviously because uh let me move this because uh they are friends and actually he admits uh so actually they seem to be really close friends even uh to further she said for everyone asking why i'm saying he didn't help me identify the person it's because i sent him pictures of the person and i got no response about it until i found hard evidence that they knew each other and even then i still didn't get a name his attorney told me the name just yesterday three days after everything happened i described him in every detail of this person and he told me he didn't know who he was i don't care though it's not about kai like i said i just i this is about Jingu Sachs, or I know I'm butchering his name. I'm sorry, Kai, but I'm not the one who created this mess. I'm sorry to have accused him over text of knowing what happened to me, since that's just an assumption on my part. Even though I've been sh uh, shown absolutely no sympathy from his side, I sympathize with him. However, I will never defend a R wordist. I don't care if they're in my family. So here you can see she sent him this photo. She even found him from. I don't know if this is like from the live, if he live streamed it or what, but she, she did some detective work and found out who he is. Here's a picture of her at the hospital, going to be at the hospital tonight. So just hit me up whenever you're ready, respond. You know, what's kind of gross is that people are showing this picture of her and being like, um, 
this is proof you're lying because apparently she's she doesn't have mascara running down her face and shit. But that doesn't surprise me. You know, uh, accusing the victim is kind of more common than believing them at this point. So she sent that on Monday at 5 a.m. He responded at 9 a.m. I'm just waking up. Are you good? She said, doing an artwork kit at the hospital. Can you please help me identify this guy that I sent you a pick up? Because it's him. Please don't tell him anything. Like, I don't want him to know I'm at the hospital or anything. I don't want to have him time to make up a story. Be on alert in case they need to investigate. It's better. He does not know. She sent another picture. He said, it's him. Yes, that's the guy. Who is that? Okay, whatever, Kai. I'm in a meeting currently. I'm trying to find out now. Hold on. No, it's him, deadass. She sends his Instagram. I found out, and yes, it's him. I'm not slow, and I remember. Me and you have lots of mutuals, and they can all vouch for me, and I'm not a liar. This type of shit don't ever happen to me. Is that the guy you sent in to check on me? No, the guy sent in to check on you, checked up on you, and left. I literally seen it with my eyes. You opened the door halfway, asked if he was good, and then came downstairs. Okay, well... That guy went in afterwards. I'm in the same boat as you. I don't know everyone at the party, so you have to bear with me. Again, he's really downplaying his... This guy is actually like a, a close personal friend. So again, this whole thing of like, I don't know everyone at the party, I think is where he's really looking very bad. She said, you're not in the same boat as me. I just had to take mad medicine to make sure he doesn't give me any STDs. A man who I don't even know and don't even find attractive in the slightest. I've been digging through all your friends' pictures to look for this man. It's taken me an entire day and a half. I had plans in New York for the weekend. I had to stop to do this. You all could have made this process a whole lot easier, but you didn't help me. That's your friend, and I know I'm not. So you can defend AR where us all handle this. He said, what the fuck are you talking about? She said, I'm so mad right now. You don't even understand. This is sick. I didn't deserve this. I did nothing to you guys. Ain't nobody defending shit. I just told you I'm about to find everything out, and that's what I've been doing. Like, why me, she said. Why are you saying you guys? See, I don't like that you include me into something that I'm trying to figure out. Don't start doing that. What the fuck? Then she finally drops this picture of them together, and that's when he starts to admit that uh, he does know him. Yo, that's your homie for real, bro. That's why you ain't help me. That's why you ain't go up. You knew what he was doing. He said, yo, what the fuck? I'm literally getting info as we speak. Are you fucking crazy? I knew what was going on, Jovi. I don't like that at all. All jokes aside, that is not cool. That's fucked up. Yeah, at this point, it really makes me... He, again, like, I'm going to say this. He's 21. He's got this huge career, and I can understand that he's being very, he's being very apprehensive and scared right now. They're saying, like, don't say anything, but you could have at least said, like, yeah, this is who it is. Like, just help her find out who the guy is. Like, she's going to find out no matter what. Like, you should know that. Like, she's going to find out. You know, he should have at least, like, just, if he would have just sent her the name and been like, this is who it is, you know, like, so sorry that happened. Like, he would have been fine. But it's the fact, like, how he handled it makes him look really bad. So, I don't know. What are your opinions on that? Like, I know it's, he's not as bad as the R word is, but, like, you know what I mean? Like, just because of how he handled it, it's almost like he's trying to defend him, protect him. Like, it's so weird. Yeah. Super, super gross. Like, ugh. Like, you know, and you're 21. Like, I mean, that's only a year less than me. Like, I don't know. You never know how you would act if you were in that situation or, like, you know. You know what I mean? You don't know how you'd act, but, like, you should have for real just gave her the name and was, like, you know, like, and that's it, you know, so. Or, like, just not responded at all, let her deal with it, I guess. Like, not responding would have been, like, you know, that's messed up, but it's, like, at least you're not pretending, like, lying. You're, he's lying. He was lying. I mean, like, I don't know who that is. Like, makes it even worse. Like, I don't know. If you don't know how to handle the situation at the moment, just leave it for now. Deal with it legally. Deal with it legally. And that's it. No. Good. I mean, this guy said uh, of this clip, Kai went from he's not my friend to we went on a couple of trips together to he's not that type of guy in a 24 hour span. Let's let's watch. Go ahead and say something. The person that's associated with me. I knew this guy. I'm not defending him once again. I knew this guy for a very long time. We went on multiple trips. 
You feel what I'm saying? Never was that. He's not that type of person. I'm not saying shit didn't happen. I'm not saying none of that. I'm not defending nobody because, bro, the way she was crying to me on that phone, bro, I'm here to help. I'm here to help. I know how he looked. Scars on the face. Dreads. You feel me? That's for the law. If That's for the law to handle, though. That's none of y'all business at all. None of y'all business at all. Go ahead and say. Again, it's just like the way that he was acting like he didn't know him. I mean, it's it's pretty obvious that he was trying to cover for his friend, at least in the beginning, right? How do I know uh, the person being accused? Jiggy, Jiggy, right? How do I know him? I know him. I never said he wasn't my friend. Yes, I know you did. Him. I, he went to high school with me. See, that's that's dishonest. You said after getting like four photos clear photos of him that actually he literally said he's not my friend didn't he like he actually literally said that and then he said i don't know everyone at my party so it's you're just you're just you're being fairly deceitful here let me address everything that everybody probably was wondering why was not why kai wasn't replying why wasn't he Text him back like this. And I don't blame y'all for asking me. Why wasn't Ka texting back like this? Why wasn't he helping? Because screenshots um uh came in. As soon as this was brought to my attention, chat, I didn't go nowhere else. When this shit was brought to my attention, I didn't go nowhere else but the police. Instantly, I went to my legal team. I went to the police. Don't you think it's a little fucked up that, like, his first response is to go to his legal team? I mean, if your friend comes to you and says she was R-worded, uh, I, I don't think... I don't think he's risking anything legally by trying to help her and sympathize with her, right? I don't think that he's really putting himself at risk. He might be putting his friend at risk, and maybe that's what... I think that's probably what his concern was at first. I don't think he's necessarily necessarily trying to defend him now, but at the time, I think he was, you know, scared. Body, that's the reason why I couldn't tell, right? My team legally told me, Kai, don't say nothing, okay? And again, he keeps saying legally, I'm not allowed to say anything. That's that's just not true at all. The law doesn't prohibit you from helping her identify her her uh, alleged abuser so it's not right it's not accurate statement that's like really traumatic like also going to the into the new year like that 2023 so much drama already so that's sad like ugh. Ugh. but yeah lots of people are talking about it right now and like you know, and then lots of people are be like, you guys are more mad at him than you are the artist. Like, yeah, you definitely should be, like, we should be definitely more upset with him, like, the guy who did it. Like, that's disgusting. But he also doesn't have, like, a huge platform that is, like, you know, that he's trying to, like, <laughs> I don't know, this guy's just trying to, like, hide it under the rug. Like, it's like he doesn't give a fuck, pretty much. Asked for, um, in a screenshot, she asked for her name, she asked for his name automatically. I told my team, I said, yo, team, here's his name. Give it to her. That what does that mean? Y'all were texting. Like, th this just doesn't make sense. You guys were texting. She says, who is this? He says, I don't know who it is. And meanwhile, you're like, here, team, send his name. I mean, stop it, dude. So that's how it seems. But yeah, it'd, it'd be scary being in that situation. But like, I don't know. It's like, what would you do in that situation? Would you... Like, I feel like I would just give the name, like, this is who it is, like, you know, um, like, look into it. Like, even if they did or didn't do it, like, here's, here's the person that you're accusing. I don't know if, like, I wasn't there, so I don't know, like, you know. So, anyway, we'll see what happens with that. And a lot of time, like, sexual assault cases just get swept under the rug, and you don't want to hear too much about them again, so... That's the story on that. But I'd like to hear you guys' opinions, what you guys think about that situation. And if you want to like look more into it, like lots of people are talking about it right now. So you can just look it up, case in that, and you know, make your own judgment. But 
obviously there's only gonna be one judge and that's like people are always like oh you can't judge the situation well you know i mean only two people actually know what happened and like in the court of law there is one judge and the judge was not there like they have to make an opinion based on the facts that they know so like we're doing the same thing we're making judgments and opinions on the facts we know but we're not the ones sentencing anybody you know we're just making our own opinions so you have to take the facts in and then kind of who who would you believe you know what i mean like i don't know to me like i believe her like she went did all the right things went straight there like why would she like i don't know she has like no reason to lie she's been getting a lot of death death threats allegedly i saw on twitter i'm like oh my goodness like that's crazy like that's crazy she's I saw some of the death threats and messages she's getting, and they're really fucking grotesque. And I will say that this is par for the course, right? When you when an, someone comes out and accuses a public figure, like, nobody believes them. Death threats, pure hate. There's no fucking clout. Like, I just, I can't emphasize this enough, man. You know, people are, like, saying, oh, like, you just, like, people are just so crazy. So crazy. And I feel bad for her. Like, why would you want that? story exactly the friend's story it sounds like he admit that they had sex what's his story just that because you know what's interesting kai knows that she went up there drunk she wanted to leave and kai said no you're too drunk go up there and sleep in that bed you'll be safe here and then this guy who she didn't talk to at the party at all goes up there and then they have sex that story does not make that much sense to me. I'm just I, I, like, just on the face value, he's like, oh yeah, she was in there. And so I went in there, this girl I hadn't talked to one night, and then we had sex. Like, that doesn't make that much fucking sense to me. It just does not. How how are they going to do, chem she's up there passed out drunk. Like, you know that, that's already been established. So how is Du going to go up there and get consent to begin with? Like, just on face value, he you can't get consent from someone that's blackout drunk sleeping in upstairs in the room. So, there, again, it's like there's there's one really fucking stupid bad side, and there's one really traumatized person who seems credible and who you believed at the beginning of the day when you talked to her. Body. I don't know what happened. I am in the same boat as my viewers. I'm in the same boat as y'all. I don't know what the fuck happened. But let me go ahead and say something. The person that's associated with me. I knew this guy. I'm not defending him once again. I knew this guy for a very long time. We went on multiple trips. You feel what I'm saying? Never was. The, uh, he's not that type of person. I'm not saying shit. He's not that type of person. I mean, yeah, listen. That doesn't mean shit. I feel bad for her. Like, why would she want that? Ugh. Anyway, that's all for this video. I just thought that it, it should be talked about. It should be addressed. These kind of things bring attention to situations like this because that's it's fucked up. It's a fucked up situation. Anyway, you already know this. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.